Um, no one expected a guilty plea today, did they? Uh, I sure did, and this was a real stunner. I am told this deal came together very quickly over the weekend. The defense attorneys approaching prosecutors on Friday. The thing that's so strange about this, there is nothing in this for Victor Bernard. Even if he was found guilty on all 52 counts he was facing, he likely would have done about 30 years in prison. In pleading guilty to just two counts, he agrees to go to prison for 30 years. He gets nothing. His defense attorneys say he wanted to spare the victims an ugly trial, but one of those victims told me today that Bernard wants to go down as a martyr. It was a moment that took a Pine County courtroom by surprise. Victor Bernard pleading guilty to two counts of sexually abusing two 15-year-old girls in his religious group a decade ago, agreeing to 30 years in prison. Lindsay Ternambi was one of those girls. Do you believe him when he says he did this to spare you a trial? No, definitely not. Bernard's attorney says after fleeing to Brazil, Bernard wanted to plead guilty to spare the victims a potentially brutal trial in which their own family members would likely testify against them. I have no doubt that if we ended up in a trial in this matter, there would have been a lot of salacious um, reporting in the case and that it would have gotten to be very difficult for a lot of people involved. And I believe that that was likely part of what he considered. Do you believe he's doing this because he wants to spare Lindsay and Jess a trial? I do not. I, the prosecutor doesn't buy it. I think I'd, I'd agree with what Lindsay was stating, and I think it was more for his followers than anything. For his followers? Correct. And that he becomes a martyr? Yeah. Bernard always told his followers in the River Road Fellowship he was Christ in the flesh, even dressing as a shepherd. It was two years ago that Ternambi and Jess Schweiss came forward to tell the Fox 9 investigators how they were part of a group of firstborn girls, the maidens, and how they were forced to have sex with Bernard, in some cases, with their parents' permission. Honestly, I haven't really had a family since I was 13. So, you know, they made their choice and I made mine, and I don't consider them family anymore. So, you know, they decided to stand with Victor and support him in what he did. Originally, there were 140 members of the River Road Fellowship in Pine County before many moved to the Washington area. Only three of his followers showed up in court today, and they left without saying a word. As for Bernard, he's continued writing from jail, mostly about the Apostle Paul and his time in prison, writing sermons, even as he confesses to sin. Anyone who would look at this case and see that he chose to do 30 years, sit in prison, knows that he must be guilty, and I think he does too. He was a man of God. It would be spiritual and natural for him to take care of me sexually. I was only 13. Victor Bernard truly was the wolf in sheep's clothing. He's a manipulator hiding behind God. You're obligated to have sex with me because I'm a man of God. It just doesn't get any more disgusting than that.